What's up, everybody? Uh, Bradley's Tanks here, here with my 90 as usual. And I want to talk about what you need to test your water, all right? So if you go into PetSmart or Petco, they usually sell, like, a lot of uh, kits, you know, pH, nitrates, nitrites, ammonia, blah, blah, blah. You can, there's probably, like, 15 different things you can test for. And the stuff's expensive, too. Like, here, I'll show you this. Uh, this I got here. This is, like... 10, 12 bucks. It's like 25 test strips. I wouldn't go with the test strips specifically. I bought those right when I started getting the fish tank, so I was pretty dumb at the time, I guess you could say. But um, it's not really worth the money. There's only a few things you need to test for to make sure your water is safe for fish. And you want to do a lot of testing when you're um, first starting your tank. After you get your tank started, you really don't need to test because you can usually tell just by how your plants are doing. You can tell even by your duckweed, which actually is over here for me. Uh, I'm not kind of sure. I can't. I don't want to open my lid because uh, it'll make that bag fall out, which is that's full of bacteria from my other tank. But um, here's the things that I recommend you test for. All right, so um, you're gonna want an ammonia test kit. All right, that's uh, probably one of the most important because you can't add fish if ammonia. Uh, when your tank's cycling, the main goal is to get rid of the ammonia. Ammonia is just like produced from fish ta uh, fish waste plants, just a natural thing, and it'll go away with bacteria. Uh, these terms are probably pretty, uh, if you learned about cycling, these terms, you've probably heard of them. So here's like an ammonia kit. Let me set it up here. Uh, okay. Uh, API ammonia kit right here. Uh, just test ammonia, and then you can tell by the color of the water when you put the substance in, it'll tell you. Green means there's ammonia, so... Right now, there's ammonia in this tank, which means I cannot, I cannot put any fish in it yet. The bacteria is still growing, but since I have dirt and since I have a bacteria bag over there with some bacteria, um, it shouldn't take too long. It's it's controversial, but it's said with dirt that um, you don't even need to cycle. You can just put fish in right away. If you ever read uh, Ecology of the Planet Aquarium by Diana Watson, she said she puts her fish in right away, which I really don't like to do. And you have to add your fish slowly, too, if you're going to do that. But that's a whole other subse subject. So, back to my story. You want two things. You want one ammonia, and you want nitrates. That's really all you need. Because if you have nitrates there, chances are you don't have nitrates. If you read up on the cycling of a tank, then you know nitrates basically take up the nitrites and the ammonia. So, you really don't, that's all you need. And I think these API test kits are about 10 bucks. And it's worth it when you're first... If this is, like, your first tank, then it's worth it, all right? Cause or if your first or second tank, it's worth it. Because you probably don't know usually how long it takes. Once you have a second tank, you usually know, like, how long it takes. It's like, six to eight weeks. Like, you just... You know how it works. So, uh, that's about it. Oh, and for pH, um, if you want to know your pH, I don't really think you need a kit because chances are someone in your family knows what your pH is around, like... Ask a family member. You, most people know their pH is from their water that they have. So you can just ask around. I'm sure you can figure out your pH just other ways than having to spend 10 bucks. And your pH, I mean, as long as it's in normal range, like 6 to 8, or that, that should be fine, right? I mean, there's not too many things you can do to change your pH that will be beneficial to your tank, except, like, maybe add peat moss, I think, lowers pH. It makes it more acidic. I, I don't know, I have to research it. Peat moss does that, and I think, um, you can have, like, crushed seashells and stuff like that. All that stuff. But you can do that research on your own, because I don't know much about it. Alright, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I might be able to answer them. So, there you go. See you later. Look forward to more videos, and subscribe if you'd like.